Hello, everyone. Scott, I'm welcoming you live from Kauai. I'm at Hanalei Bay. It is April 22nd, 2015. And you know, people say, hey, Scott, is that a green screen behind you? Are you really, you know, out in Hawaii? Are you really out in Kauai? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna show you over that direction is Princeville Resorts. And then over this direction is the end of the bay. So hold on a second, okay? Cool. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm really out here in Kauai. I want to talk to you about a common issue that salespeople have and entrepreneurs have and business owners have and that, you know, this concept of free. And, you know, there's a there's a push automatically when people, you know, they get into business or they have a sales process and the first thing they start thinking is like, you know, they start thinking like themselves. How would I buy? How would I want something? And, you know, the automatic like reaction, the automatic, the easy reaction is free. And so people will say, well, I want free. And so, you know, a lot of times when I deal, uh, train salespeople, they'll come in and They'll, they'll show me their process and what they're doing is they're giving up too much too quick and they're using free as their intro. They're using free as, as too much of a crutch. And what you got to understand is there's no such thing as free. It costs something to get the product. It costs something to make the product. It costs something for somebody's time. And so, you know, people understand that, you know, if you're going to give something away for free, there is a cost to it. But, you know, like in the back of their mind, they're like, okay, what's the catch? So they're like, hey, you know what? I got this thing that's free. It's really cool. It's going to be awesome for you. But you got to understand, you got to you got to catch up to that thing that's going on in their mind. And that question that they have is like, what's the catch? What's going on? Why is it free? What are you not telling me? And so if you're going to use that as your lead in, you're going to use that as your intro because it does draw people in. But, you know, the one thing you have to understand, too, is it may draw in the type of people that you don't want to deal with. And, you know, so like sometimes when you're dealing with the, the sales aspect or the marketing aspect, there, there is a process where you have to take a look at. And like, you know, if I have an offer, what kind of person is going to come take that offer? Is it the type of person that I want to do business with? So sometimes that message is just too big. So the word free can get you in trouble. Now, I've seen a lot of times in sales uh, presentations where I'm with somebody that they don't use this tool correctly. And just like anything else that I teach and anything else that I go over with you, it's like having a tool in the tool bag. Just because you have it in there doesn't mean that you're going to use it. And so sometimes people, they'll sit there and the salesperson will say, well, this is free. And then the next words out of the mouth of the buyer is, what's the catch? What's the catch? Okay. So be careful with what's going on. You know, people start to understand, you know, if it was 1940, 1950 and buyers weren't as savvy as they are today, like, you know, they're drawn to stuff like that. And you know, like they, they don't understand, they didn't understand that there was something going on that would pull them in and that was free to get them going. So there is something to be said about it, but use it sparingly and be careful how you do it because you have to have a plan. You have to have a plan of the type of person you want to deal with. You have to have a plan for what you're going to explain why it's free and what the conditions are because there's always a condition to free. There's never just free. There's always a condition. So you have to be able to explain it the correct way so that people understand what's going on. Okay. So be careful with what's going on and how you're using free with the people that you deal with because it can cause some problems. There's always a cost to something. People understand that concept. There's always a cost to something. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn. Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from Kauai. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.